that's a good way to align a lens. So here we have a Heaney laser. We want to align this plano convex lens into the system. What I'm going to do is bring the beam into the lens and center it first of all, just visually approximately. So it hits about the middle of the lens. And when I look back at the, at the Heaney, I can see that the beam is off to one side. There's a reflection here. Let's put a card so we can see the reflection better. And in fact, you see that there's two reflections there. One is from the curved side. As the beam goes back, it expands. The other is from the flat side. So first it passes through the lens, focuses a little bit, hits the flat side, comes out focusing again a little bit, and then goes back to the card. So what we can do to focus, to, to align this lens, is notice a couple of things. First of all, if I move this from side to side, see how the two spots shift, one with respect to the other. So I'm correct when I have one spot exactly above the other. So what I'm going to do is just take the clamp here and attach it with the lens in that position. <clears throat> so left and right, one above the other, that means that I'm hitting the right place. Now, as I tilt the lens, both of these will swing left and right. So that's not about the centration, that's about the angle of the lens. So let's first of all get the centration in the second direction correct. I'm going to raise and lower the lens now. So I'll keep it over to the side so I can see the two spots. But as I raise and lower the lens, you can see the spots are changing on the screen. So let's make them on the same height. And that'll mean it's centered left and right. And then I'm also going to shift it left and right to center it, and then find it to tilt it to send the whole thing back exactly onto the laser. Now in this case I don't have an adjustable mount, so when I send the beam back I can't tilt it down a little bit, but nonetheless I'm going through it even if I'm tilted up slightly for this lens.